Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome entry-level bunkhouse travel trailer with no slide outs. This is a 2021 Coachman Clipper model 21BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Clipper and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome Coachman Clipper 21 with no slide outs. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. How to Will? Hey guys. How's it going? It's going good. It's a nice day here in Tampa now. Yes. Um, this is, I'm excited to take a look at this Clipper because like Matt said, it is brand new on the market. So um, I think, you know, Clipper has been developing some good floor plans. And I think you guys are going to like it. I think they have some great floor plans and now they're getting even better. Right. Let's begin. Model is Clipper 21BH. The actual tip to tip length of the travel trailer is 27 feet even. The dry weight is 4,762 pounds and will pin weight, tongue weight? 525 pounds. Awesome, always remember you wanna use weight distribution bars no matter what. Up front here we have a manual tongue jack. I will tell you guys, I'm not a huge fan of that right now on this unit. Normally I'm not a fan of it, but there is a reason why. Normally I, I don't care on a clipper, but there is a reason why I don't like it. You do have two 20 pound propane tanks go here and your batteries go right there. It is aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. Right here you have your diamond plate rock guard there and you have some solar right there. Right over here you do have a little bit of storage, nothing fancy, nothing nice. It's a very small lightweight trailer and you do have the manual stabilizing jacks. Coming on down the side here, look at this Will, wow! You have a huge power awning you sure down do. the whole length of the travel trailer. Nice slipper component, solid steps, I love that. Come on through, Will. Okay. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Castle Rocks. I love those. ST205-75 R14. Did you make it through? I did. Okay. And you have your Dexter axles there. Right over here, we do have a water heater. Okay. And a leash link right there to bring your pets camping with you. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. You do have an outdoor shower right there. And it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And you can get your Furion backup cameras, hoses, weight distribution bars, everything by using our Amazon link down below. And then coming down to the driver's side, look at this, awesome. That is awesome. I love the corner beds when they put the doors here yep. and they flip up and you can use it for storage. It's so smart and so nice, I love that. Right there is where you dump your black and gray tank, okay? 30 amp power cord connection here and here's where you hook up your cable and satellite and then finishing up right down here here's your city water connections here's your potable water fill potable potable and the other side of that storage what do you think will it looks pretty nice on the outside it does but it looks even better on the inside let's go take a look all right You got it? Yep. Go on ahead. All right, it's a simple trailer, bed up front, dining area, kitchen in the middle, those bunks over here, and bathroom in the back. We starting simple. up front? Simple and nice, yes. Nice bed area, okay? I'm gonna climb up on this one. Perfect for me, somebody like Will's height, it is gonna be a little bit shorter. No big deal. We have windows on both sides. That was almost my hand. What happened? A gust of wind? A gust of wind shut the door. My hand is right in the door jam. Man, I wish your hand would have gotten pinched. <laughs> we would have owned Coachman Clipper. Okay. We do have storage right over there. Let me get the other side. Yes, sir. A little bit of storage above there. And a little more over here. Yes, sir. Also notice the power and USB right there. 
And then if you back on up. Nice. Did that go by itself? Sure did. Oh, oh use this away to the bed to keep it down. Nice. I actually like that. And then there is no bedroom in here, but you do have the curtain right there. Okay? Right behind you, Will, that's where all the light buttons is. Power awnings, the sound system right over there. I don't see a place where the TV would be. Right behind you. Well, maybe that's right. It's right there. If it was Snake, I'd be dead. That's right. And then over here in the living room area, there is no dinette. No. Oh. No couch. There is no sofa, but there is a dinette that we'll check out in a second. We have very nice cabinetry above. All pass through. Okay. Huge window. I love that window. And then your dinette's right here. And it's the type of table that's removable. It does drop down to make a bed. Mm. And don't you like the balances? Yeah. Zoom in on those. It's kind of like a Greek Hercules pattern, isn't it? It sure is. Yep. But it's subtle. It's not yep, over it's the not top. Yep, it's not over. Yeah, exactly. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is... $24,251. That's MSRP, Will. That's not bad. Not bad at all. But guess what's even better? The sale price. Which, if you look right there, we can't actually advertise sale price right now because it is a 2021. But we will be able to get everybody in America the best sale price by doing what, Will? By calling, texting, emailing, or FaceTiming. Hey, 301-906-0962. It's my personal cell number. Or send me an email. Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or the preferred method is by going to Matt's RV Reviews .com. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will give you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself directly and we reply to you within 24 hours. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if it's tab three, two, or one. There's one thing that every tab has in common. They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys. So you probably know by now, Coachmans are known for being small. Yes. But like, this is a good-sized kitchen. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you got some good amount of storage up top. Yes, sir. Nice graystone microwave here. Hang on a second. We can't see it all the way right down there, Will. Thank you, Will. <laughs> nice uh, graystone range hood as Hood well. range. Um, good backsplash. I mean, it's not really backsplash, but it looks nice. And a little window on your campsite. Mm -hmm. um, faucet, you know, just a regular faucet. Single bowl sink, which I actually like. Yes. And they're not solid surface countertops, but you know, it's that's Price normal point. for this. And then um, look at that. That's three unique. Three burner. Yeah, three burner suburban cooktop there. Mm hmm. Uh, got some storage down below here. Yes. One drawer here and a little more storage underneath. Very nice. And then right over here is your little pantry area. And a fair amount of uh, pantry space in here, so you could definitely use some of this for like your kids stuff. Surprisingly big, yes. Yeah. And then a two-way Norcold refrigerator. That runs off both propane and electric. That's right. And then right over there is the corner bunk beds, Will. Yep. Um, again, pretty nice, pretty deep. Yeah. Windows on, on that side, had the door on this side. You know, really good length oh, and, and everything. you can actually get to that storage. Oh, wow. Right I under didn't there. know about that. Very I'm cool. push this down early. Yeah, push it down. Oh, you, I think you oh, have to get it from in. the outside. It's okay. And then it's now time for the tall test. Uh, I like that angle of the toilet, though. I don't know that this is going to work. Yeah, I can't pass the tall test. Nope, not passing the tall test. Uh, right over here. We have that. Okay, nice little thingy right there. Okay. I did see something funny on um, Haylit RV. Uh -huh. um, so we do the toilet test and the tall test. And Josh from Haylit, you know, we all, we all talk to each other, guys, right? And he did this new thing called shower yoga. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> was, he was like, it's so big you could do shower yoga. It was, it was actually really funny. 
Uh, we have the sink right there. Shout outs to Josh. He's a hard worker. I like the guy. But I want to crush him in the YouTube <laughs> universe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And then plastic, plastic toilet. Great angle. Great angle. But, you know. It's plastic. It's, pl it's plastic. Well, Will, that's it. How much? Man, we knocked it out that in like 10 quick. minutes, bro. Yeah. That's the review. Now, hold up. Before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like. Okay. Very easy. Okay. First, the amount of kitchen countertop space is fantabulous. Right. Very big. Very nice. I love that. That is number one. Yep. Simple and easy. Number two. I'm going to kind of combo it with. Like, even though there's no slides in here, it, it actually doesn't feel too bad. Right. And I'm going to combat that with the, um, with the, the, uh, bunks set up here. You know, they're, they're narrow, which doesn't surprise me because there's okay. no slides. Uh-huh. But they're nice and long. And then, of course, the storage with them. So. Yep. Yeah, that door is awesome. Yeah. So, that is number two. And then number three, well, it's going to be outside. Okay. Okay. Um, man, this is hard to get in and out right now. It is, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> number three i like how the awning goes from tip to tip yes all the way across this travel trailer right it's a huge power awning and i love that right it sure is so that's three things we love about it now it's time for three things we don't like about it okay you want to go first mine's inside mine's outside <laughs> ah the one time we're outside <laughs> well you're killing me <laughs> go on inside squeeze okay. on in there Dude, Will, you're about to, you're the worst. You guys, you guys, if you guys watch, every time we're inside, Will's like, oh, mine's outside, mine's outside. And now the one time we're outside, it's inside. Sorry. Talk to me. Okay, so I'm not going to hate on the shower too much, the size of the shower, because, I mean, it's a small trailer, but what I really, really don't like is this is a huge step to get in. Wow, and especially for somebody tall like Will. Yeah, it, it actually is like... I mean, I can get in and out. Yep. Like, you know, um, but if you have somebody younger, if you have an older person, it yep. could be really hard to get in and out of that. Yeah, no doubt. So. That's a great point, Will. Great point. That is number one. Number two, I have number three outside. Okay. Do you have a number two? Um. Yeah, actually I do. Talk to me. Oh, I have a number two as well. Do you? Yep. Um, this is not a convection microwave. Yep. And they did not put an oven in. Okay, I'm going to combo that. Okay. With that window, could have gone the whole length. True, yeah. Especially since there's no real backsplash. It's wallpaper. Yeah, exactly. That is two. And you guys are going to want to stick around for number three. You don't want to miss it. Okay. Big props to the solid steps. Right. Lipper, in their lipper components, they make the best solid steps. We go another way? Yep. Oh, up front. Come right here. Okay. Get me in the center. Yep. This is a 21 FQS. Hmm. Power tongue jack. Manual tongue jack. What's the deal with that? Right. Unless this is used and they upgraded it. No, I don't think so. Nope. Brand new. Hate the manual tongue jack. And again, I wouldn't have had a problem with this if that one didn't have it right there. Right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this, please go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're in the market for a lightweight bunkhouse trailer, we will have videos show up in a few seconds right there and there. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Of course. All right, guys, like I said earlier, the, um, the clippers are really, really popular coming out with some great floor plans. I hope you guys really like this. Make sure to leave in the comments down below three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much yes, for watching. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time.